And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube. For our next deck, we have a historic donation deck here where we're going to be playing some Bant Ramp. Um, we got some spicy stuff at the top end. You know, this is kind of like a Simic Ramp deck. That's what you that's what you see whenever you first start looking at it. You're like, all right, a Boreal Grazer, Leaf Druid, Grow Spiral, Risen Reef, Krasis, Finale. Okay, I know what's going on here. Cavalier, Nissa, you know, sure. But our top end, we got first we got a couple of spark doubles that can be awesome. You know, you can uh, copy Arisen Reefs, copy Cavalier, cop copy Nissa. Like those are all awesome things to copy. If those those aren't good enough though, we have Azor the Lawbringer, Nezahal, Primal Tide, and Zatalpal Zatalpa Primal Dawn. Also amazing cards to go copy with Spark Double. So yeah, you can play Azor the Lawbringer. And then your, each opponent can't cast instants and sorcery spells during their next turn. So they draw like a wrath. They can't play it. And uh, then the next turn you can spark double your Azor. And then again, they can't play them again. <laughs> and maybe you get another spark double. But yeah, you get to attack. You get the Sphinx's Revelation trigger. Um, I, I always kind of thought this card should have flash. But yeah, it can't be countered. You have no maximum hand size. Whenever they cast a non-creature spell, you draw a card. You know, so just draw on some more cards. Zatalpa is uh, pretty cool. Like finale for Zatalpa is pretty awesome. Like where if you can finale for ten, um, go find Zatalpa, put it into play, um, and then so you, then you give it haste and plus ten. So then you just double strike, uh, you know, with a ten power haste, haste double strike trampling flying creature. Like they're just dead. <laughs> so like hopefully we get to finale for Zatalpa, some and just kill people out of nowhere. Um, but yeah, we're basically a Simic deck kind of splashing some cool stuff at the top. And um, so I'm kind of excited to try this out. I'm excited to see how it goes. Uh, with Historic to play best of three, as we, we've talked about. So right now, the way to do that is ranked starting on um, Thursday or 37 hours from now, 38 hours from now. Uh, we'll have the Historic event to play. But for now, we're gonna play like five, five, uh, five matches in ranked. Um, historic reanimator is not really a thing, but it could be. I think there's a lot of good tools for that, but there's, but it's not really a thing that people play. Okay. So yeah, so you took out a higher level Simic Ramp deck and then just took out the top end for some silly stuff. I like it. Yeah, hopefully hopefully we get to do some cool stuff with the top end. Theros comes out on Arena on Thursday. So today's Tuesday, so in two days. So we're almost there. Whoa. We're like living on a prayer. Um... Yeah, definitely think in the events for historic, some jank decks can be a thing. Absolutely, I think historic, I think historic's a really good jank deck format. Like right now, um, rule aggro and Esper control are just the the two things that you play against more than anything else. And so if you can have like a, a jank deck that at least can beat one of the two fairly well, so if you hopefully you get paired against that half and not the other half, but if you can do well against both of them. Then you're, then you're really talking. I don't think I just spark double leaf kindred, even though I don't get to play anything this turn. <laughs> yeah, we're playing some Zatalpa. Oh, hello. Sorry, I didn't respond with hello. Is it okay to replace tap lands like the scry or gain life ones with guild gates to reserve some rare wild cards until you get more? Absolutely. The gain life ones are commons though. So, like it should be easy to, to have those ones. The scry lands are rares. And yeah, if you need to replace those, that's that's okay. Hmm.
I think Finale is my worst card in hand as far as the five drops go. So I'll play that one first. Ooh. Uh, blue black. Resolve. So that Temple Garden's a really good draw. If we draw another white source, we can cast Zatalpa. Or if they let like Cavalier resolve and then they kill it. With the trigger on the stack. Oh, alright. Get a white source. Can we have Zatalpa resolve? Probably not gonna happen, right? Hmm. If I drew a land there, I'd maybe be able to have like Cavalier plus Spark double this turn. Oh wait, no, I still I still can. Oh wait. I guess I need to start adding in more green. Just tap one of these for green. There we go. I don't know why I wanted to have me have both green white lands untapped and not a green blue land. Boo. Well, I don't think, yeah, I don't think that we really are going to be doing much here. So I could just play the Zatalpa. Might as well just cast this thing. I don't think we're really winning this. Thanks, Tosin. Oh, I had Grazer. So I did have something I could have just... I could have grabbed that Grazer earlier. Hmm. I forgot about Grazer in the deck. I didn't think I had a one drop. The dreaded Shockland. Mm -hmm. 
Wow, just assuming I don't have it an instant. All right, bunch of mystical disputes, a couple of ceratops. Yep, looks like that's what we got. So yeah, the problem with Spark Double is it has to resolve. Or like you have to have something else resolve and it resolve also. Hmm. No, I don't. No, I don't know yet, Jay Gomez. No, I don't know. I haven't haven't had time to think that far ahead, really. I'm definitely gonna be playing some mono black decks. I don't know. Besides that, what we're playing on Thursday. Third, yeah, we'll open the packs on Thursday. Yep. Rakdos burn for you, QQ. New cards come out Thursday. Oh, the vet appointment went okay. Uh, they still, you know, d don't really have a great idea of what's wrong with Hawkeye, and so I just have like some some different med medicine that we're gonna try giving him and hope it helps. Hopefully we draw Hydroid Crasis, or so we have two Hydroid Crasis, two Shifting Ceratops, and one Nezahal. So we have like five things, like uh, you know, three of them can't be countered, and two of them, even if they counter it, you draw a lot of cards. Those are like the cards that we want to be drawing. Unfortunately, don't have any removal. Yeah, triple curious obsession against only lands. It's unfortunate. All right. We'll try to win the next one. I played the O3 before the Grow Spiral because the O3 can continue to add mana for the rest of the... Um, you know, for the rest of the game and everything. Um, Grow Spiral basically costs one land, one mana, because you know you, you get to put another land into play. You can just do that the next next time. Favorite card in Theros? Um, I like the, I like the blue black card. Yeah, I want to spark double a Cavalier. 
I like the blue black card that. Um, I guess I should learn the name of it. It's my favorite card. But the four mana three two that like has like the factor fiction with putting a pile. Um. All right, gonna go go grab a boreal grazer. What's the name of that card? Oracle of Half Truths. Puts one face up, one face down. That's a really cool card. Is it Flash Against Fires? Um, Disdainful Stroke is like that. I mean, Disdainful Stroke's your your best my counter spell. My, how you grown. If you're not playing to sample strokes, you probably should be. But then, of course, mystical dispute because he had to counter Teferi. Ether Gust is is not bad either with the Cavaliers and the Fires. Watch out. I just kind of need more mana. Well. That's a curve. How do we beat turn two Steel Leaf, turn three Vivian? I don't know. I guess Aether Gus. Ether Gust and Love Struck Beast. Yeah, then they just had a Galta on turn four after killing my five six that I played on my turn four. It's a 60. He's kind of playing these things that are dinosaurs. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's tough to beat Stompy with no interaction for sure. We're kind of playing a standard deck in Historic. I just realized, you know, like seeing them play Land of War Elves kind of just reminded me that Land of War Elves is in the format and there's no, there's really no reason why we shouldn't have Land of War Elves in this deck. Like we, like we really need to have four Land of War Elves in this deck. How can we fit in four land worlds in here?
Dang, I needed to draw a land to be able to play Nissa and Cavalier. Um... Yeah, I mean, Land of is better than Grazer. But that's that's just two slots. We probably need to, we need two more. The Spark Doubles haven't looked so good. Could just could just play more Land Worlds instead of the Spark Doubles too. I will survive you. Vivian Arco Ranger this is will be so fun good. To watch. Talk about an underrated card right there. I have I have no way to win this. I mean I have to draw Ether Gust. Without either Gust, I have no way to win this. There's either gust, so that's a start. If they minus Vivian, I have a chance. If they plus Vivian, I don't. Well, I guess it depends on what they minus on. So I guess I shouldn't say that. Depends on what they minus on. Basically, if we can untap with Nissa, we have a chance. But it's just going to be very difficult to untap with Nissa. Okay. I aim and their claws, you're done. So now, if they have everything attack Nissa, then I'm dead. But if they don't have that happen... Okay, we can do it. That's exactly what I needed to happen. Good. They could have killed Nissa. Could have just ticked if they just ticked up and put a counter on Questing Beast and gave that thing trample, I was like dead. Um but they didn't. So here we go. Finale of Zeltalpa. The land fights for us. Alright, how much mana we got here? That's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 
The old 1923 flying double strike trampler. <laughs> Finale of Zatalpa. <laughs> we did it. We did it. We did the thing. We did the thing. <laughs> yeah, right? That should be so much damage it should carry over to the next game. That makes sense. <laughs> we don't need the Zatalpa in hand. So, I mean, you can really think of this as a mulligan. Like, this Zatalpa is not doing anything. So, like, you can think we have a six card hand. It's not a very good six card hand. All right, this is a better six card hand. And we know we don't have to draw the Zatalpa, which is good. Hopefully draw more lands. See, like, if that's Llanowar Elf, you know, you at least know that, hey, we have three mana next turn kind of thing. Like, if it's Llanowar Elf, now we're at four mana and we're going from there. Yeah, yeah, Matthew, it's been going on for a long time, you know, like a month or so. Hey, Hawkeye. Clean Hawkeye, you want to come up here? Here he is. Um, he's not that old. He's like 11 or 12. So he would have been able to play another land. Yeah, like this, this just needs to be land or elf. Oh, uh, me too, yeah. Yeah, I definitely love Hawkeye so much too. He's he is amazing. Could have had Nezahol here if that was Land War Elf. Either guess this Yorvo. Oh, 
Thank you, Molni. Thanks, thanks for coming on over here and saying that. Glad you're enjoying the YouTube videos and everything. I appreciate that. Mono Blue Temple back in war. Swapped it to Simic Flash and M20, but now in Eldra I'm not finding any decks that click. Any advice on the archetype I should look into? Um, yeah, I mean, I would think that just, like, so Simic, right now, like Simic Ramp or Simic Flash isn't clicking for you. I mean, that's that's kind of where I'd go to. Or um, I like the Is It Flash also, if you've tried the, if you haven't seen, if you've seen the Is It Flash. I like that one too. Okay, yeah, yeah, try the is it flash. Get those things down there at the bottom. Ether Gus is pretty good. Unfortunately, I don't think we're drawing very many more Ether Gus, considering we've already drawn four. <laughs> Sweet. We got the victory. All right, one on one. Uh, so, Dan, with this being your deck, what do you think of what do you think about replacing some of these cards with Land of War Elves? Do you think that's a good idea, or do you want to keep it as is? I was thinking the Spark Doubles and the Grazers, just making those Land of War Elves. that sound okay? The spark doubles are pretty spicy. Um, elves. Just a one mana mana creature. Is Dan in here? What a she wa. <laughs> yeah, it's just kind of always been a common. I never really liked the Dominaria common symbol. How it's different, how it's white instead of black. I don't like it. All right, I guess we're just going to continue on. I'm not... I don't, I don't know if the, the person that donated may be a little busy. So we'll just continue on with the same list. I don't want to change it. Uh, do you prefer a Boreal Grazer or Gilded Goose for a Teamer or Gruel deck to ramp in Standard? Depends on how many lands you're playing. I don't think you can really play... I, I don't like Grazer in any deck with less than 26 lands. So I would say most likely Goose for the deck you're talking about. Ugh, this Basic Plains. 
Why do we have a basic planes in our deck anyway? Do we have we don't even have fable passage, do we? No, we don't have any fable passage. We should not have any basic planes. All right, so how many blue sources do we have? You know, like they should just be like hallowed fountains and glacial fortresses and stuff like that. Um, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There's only uh, thirteen. There's thirteen blue sources. That's not very many. Man, the sand would be so great if we just had a, a blue source. I think I think both of these basic planes should be blue white lands. All right, so this hand's good. I think I'm gonna put back Nissa. Honestly, I think I want to just kind of keep all these elementals. Yeah. Yeah, definitely Land War Elf is one of the top commons. Yeah, for sure. Boo. Well, this was a very good hand, but it can crumble. They just have removal for Reef. And it crumbles. Darn. You know, the thing is, is like you could keep it in hand. Ugh. I could keep it in hand and then I don't have to. Um, so that it doesn't just die, so that I can like double spell with like Risen Reef plus a Leaf can Druid in the same turn. But they can. Uh, but they play discard. You know, like they can just have discard. Yeah, so I think we have to sideboard out Leaf Kindred in this matchup. This game's already over. I am not good. No time for a break. I don't think you can play a 0-3 against Esper Control. We need to move quickly. Is, uh, six lands in a row so far now. <laughs> Hurry. Yeah, our list only has two crisis, unfortunately. For Sultai Treachery and Historic. Good question. Um... Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but tomorrow I'm going to do a historic day. I, I think I'm going to, that's a, that's a good deck. I think I'm going to have that for tomorrow. Sorry, Hawkeye. Basically, I'll take a look at it and get back to you. Um, he, yeah, Hawkeye's still not doing good now, but I have medicine to start giving him. Different. Uh, he's got like an immune system Hold booster and and um, some antibiotics. Also, that we're hoping that the those two together that uh, over the next few days hopefully he'll start doing better yeah i think so edder um yeah i think i'm just gonna play all historic tomorrow
close. I mean, all they do is ultimate to fairy, and I'm dead. Okay, mono black aggro after Theros. I have one donation deck to do tomorrow for Historic, which is going to be Historic Flash. Alright, I'll play some mono black aggro on Thursday. Thank you, Subisac. Yeah, we really shouldn't have basic planes in this deck at all. I kind of want to play some Ether Gusts. Like, they kill my thing, I Ether Gust to back on top kind of thing. I don't want to play Ethergust instead of Zatalpa, but we'll just play Zatalpa. We're we're we have a very very small percent. Like I, I don't know, we're we're probably not winning this. Um, so we'll play some fun cards. It's gonna be tough. Thanks, it's better. Thanks for the resub. Well, this is like all of our good cards. That's our ninth sub of the day. Can't quite update that right now. Um. That is Kanta. All right, now I can update that. So it's so it's nine subs on the day. Yeah. 
I guess Hawkeye was in the way. I can't really see. So the problem with playing Neza Hall is then they play a sweeper and I have to... All my stuff's gone. I don't think I extend more into a sweeper. And Ruelin is our 10th sub of the day. Gets us to that first sub goal. Thanks you, thank you Ruelin. Alright, so now I get to play Nezahal. Because now I, ha I have two cards in hand. When they play Kaya's Wrath, I draw a card. Um, and then I'll have three cards, and then I can I can uh, flicker out the Nezahal. And so it doesn't die to Wrath, so it'll come back and kill them. No, Nezahal does not have flash, no. Yeah, I mean, this is just a Simic ramp with just some spicy top end stuff. Yeah, that game was our, yeah, it was our, our best possible draw for sure. Yeah, I would, I would assume so too, Dizzy. Um, but I'm not sure. Again, Risen Reef. Land. Hit that land. No. Definitely wanted to hit a land. So Nissa could attack the Teferi right away. I was a little worried about Dovin's veto for Nissa, but then also with having because I have the Risen Reef here, I wanted to play the Cavalier of Thorns. We're not we're really not doing a good job of uh, ramping Let's per se. Let's skip to the good part. Yeah, with the, yeah, every every Risen Reef trigger is missed. Four, no, that's three of them. All three of them. I hope they don't have a counter spell. Uh. 
That sucks. We were going to be able to play Nyssa and then also Spark Double the Nyssa. And we were going to have two lands and we are going to be able to kill the Teferi. But of course the Teferi has to be able to untap two lands. No time for a break. I mean, mass manipulation. Here goes nothing. That could be a good card in this deck for this Esper control matchup. Mass manipulation, because they are so reliant on their planeswalkers, just stealing to fairies. Or even just agent of treacheries. Need to move quickly. That's more like it. I shouldn't have grabbed temple. I should have grabbed a regular land. If it wasn't a temple. Then I could have cast the Gross Spiral afterwards. So we get 13. I guess I shouldn't have untapped another forest. I didn't really do the math first. I could have just untapped another land. Of course, we can't play instance right now. Really, like, all I'm looking for is that finale. We have one finale there. We need, we need a finale. Yeah, then it's a passive stack. Yeah. You know what? Yeah, because they each say whenever you tap a force for mana, add an additional one. <laughs> Rise and shine. Here we go. Need to draw a finale. Just during that player's next turn. Why can't it be in, until the their next end step or something? Why can't I play Azor the Lovebringer and then they can't play Instants and Sorceries?
So yeah, they're casting Wrath. Can't do anything with his mana. Yeah, like that's that's my plan is is finale Zatalpa. I mean, that's my only plan. I don't. I guess I don't really have a. I guess it doesn't really matter because they're gonna ulti Liliana. Yeah, I mean, I guess ultimate Liliana because like ultimate Teferi we can still fight through. Teferi ult we can still fight through, but we can't fight through Liliana ultimate. Yeah, we're we're dead. I forgot about. I mean, well, not really forgot about. I I couldn't do anything at all. But uh, Liliana ultimate gets us. I thought I was doing that the other way, honestly. Also, with these two triggers, I wanted to draw the Risen Reef first and then the finale, but I put them back the other way. So that's why I did the finale first, because I thought I would have put it back on the deck first, then I did the Risen Reef second to put it back on the deck second, which would have been on the top. At least that makes sense. No, we don't have Deputy. No, we have, we have no interaction at all. Kind of silly. Well, we got to see Azor's ETB effect. So that's cool. Yeah. Azor is a spicy one, but not not a good card. <laughs> not not nearly good enough for historic. We should really be playing like Agent of Treachery or just something that's that's worth a card. Unfortunately, Azor just Azor's never going to be worth anything. No, I mean that was they because of Teferi, they got to Wrath during my combat step, so that was all second main. I mean, I, I didn't have Nissa ult go get a bunch of lands. I mean, I, I had 10 cards left in my deck. 
My deck only had 10 cards in it. Yeah, I mean, I, I could have finale for 10, but we're in the second we're in the second main, so finaleing for 10 for Zatulpa doesn't do anything. Because they wrath during my combat step. I needed to I needed to find the finale before the combat step and then just cast it even though they have a like into a wrath and then you know grabs a tall but it's indestructible and then surprise them in that way But they also had to fair besides the besides the Liliana ultimate, they had Teferi ultimate. And so like my other my Nissa was exiled. Like they were gonna exile the Nissa. So we were pretty dead. The spark double was Llanowar Elf. We would have had turn three Nissa this past turn. Would have gone turn one Llanowar Elf, turn two Leafkin, then we would have played Nissa this past turn. But as is, we're going to be waiting another couple turns for Nissa. But whenever we do play Nissa, we get to make another one. Yeah, historic his, historic decks are definitely good. Yeah, historic decks are definitely good. Um, and we're we're playing just like some fun some fun cards that are that are very suboptimal, and it's that's that's a tough world to live in in historic. Um, with like a really slow deck with no interaction kind of thing. Well, not really slow. I mean, it's pretty slow for the format not having land or elf though. All right, so what can we do? Hmm. I need Breeding Pool to be able to go Nissa Spark Double. Okay. Hey, come sit on my lap. Uh, it was kind of in the way of chat. I can't see chat. Yeah, this is just cut this combo with Witching Well. I haven't seen That's Witching Well in the cut this combo before. It's an artifact that Emery can recast. If we're not dead this turn, oh no, they found Mox Amber. It's either we're dead this turn or we kill them this next turn. It's like one of those two things is going to happen. Oh gosh, triple Mox Amber. All right, we're dead. Yeah. All right, so this game's over. Do y'all want me to to let them? Like, do you, do y'all want to see it? But basically, they're just going to mill over their whole library, cast Jace, and I die. Like we have we have a zero percent chance of winning this from here. 
like ac actual zero. Okay. So, I mean, that's that's all that's going to happen. They just mill over their whole library. They recast Jace. I mean, they only have 14 cards left in their library anyway. There's Jace right there. It's over. The Mox Ambers. Like, they were playing three Mox Ambers that turn. That's, like, yeah, the, they get to just recast those Mox Ambers a bunch. And they just they just play the Mox Amber. Like, the Mox Ambers just give them the mana for Jace. Okay. We were a turn away from winning. If we got to untap, we were going to be able to finale for 10. But that was like, you know, that was just the difference of playing Spark Double or playing Land War Elf. We really need Land War Elf. And we need like Agent of Treachery and stuff like that. Fortunately, those cards don't do anything. I do kind of like this finale for Zatalpa plan. If we just turn this into like like Simic and just replace these cards with like more Krasis and Treachery and stuff like that, and play Land War Elf, and just keep you know just keep us a Zatalpa in here, and just finale for Zatalpa. Like that's pretty cool. Ooh, Voracious Hydra in the sideboard. I could see that. Yeah, I could definitely see playing Voracious Hydra or Wicked Wolf. Things that kill stuff. Pro probably like Voracious Hydra more than Wicked Wolf. Yeah, Zatalpa is, does a better job of killing stuff than Forerunners, than killing people. Uh, basically, the, the card that I'm thinking about there is Aether Gust, whether to put that in or not. I mean, we'll, we won't do it. If they mill all the Kethis, do they lose? Um, they should have Tamio to get back Kethis also. We could keep this if this was Lanor Elf. We could keep it. So I think I'm supposed to play Risen Reef on turn three and then Leafkin on turn four to trigger Risen Reef. I don't think I just play Leafkin on two. Okay, cool. Gross Spiral is a good draw. We can play that on turn two. Spiral, good draw. Grazer, not a good draw. I probably should sideboard out Grazer. I probably should have played two Ether Gusts instead of the two Grazers. to counter a Kethys. It's hoping that's what they're going to play there. Uh, 
Yep. Should have played either Gus instead. I didn't really think about how Ether Gus works with Exca Excavator also. Because, <clears throat> you know, like we like let's say they played a Kethis, we'd be able to do it before, you know, put it back on top and then they would mill it over kind of thing. All right, so the Witching Well, that's a good one for them to hit. They get to recast that with Emery. So Grazer, like, you may be wondering why am I not playing Grazer. Well, obviously, it doesn't do anything on the battlefield. So, like, there's not a real reason to play it on the battlefield. But what it could do in our hand is we could draw a Hydroid Crasis and draw a lot of cards and then have extra lands in our hands. And then we could play Grazer and pl get extra lands into play. Hey, Dank. All right, well... Not looking great. Their auto tap tapped their blue source, but they have Mox Amber that adds blue as far as recasting Wishing Well goes. Uh, is this winnable? Not really. We're not just straight up dead right now, though. But we're basically dead. I know my responsibility. This would have been a lot. If these, I mean, that I just miss I boarded. I mean, I, I learned, but if I would have just played Ether Gust instead of these, we would have had a lot better chance because we would have been able to Ether Gust the Kethis whenever they played it, and make them mill over the Kethis, and our life would have been a lot better. Yeah, if it's they mill more Mox and Legendary cards. They get to get rid of the. Um, yeah, this looks like this could be over twenty because they get to go again. Get to get rid of Ruinous Blast and Immortal Sun. Uh, they just got rid of those things. Six cards, two, four, six. Yep. All 
This is the kind of deck that I wish we, we had like a league to play. But oh well. All right, one and three, one more. I'll try to finish on a high note. Yeah, our deck's a little too slow for historic. Um, we, I mean, yeah, we need to. You know, like we're basically just playing a standard deck here. We need to uh, add it. Like, one main thing is land war elf. Like that's that's the biggest thing. Um, but then yeah, our top end, we took out, or like the the person that donated for it put it you know put in like a, a jankier, more fun top end, and. Unfortunately, it's not as good as winning games. Um, my, yeah, my opponent just was getting rid of their li library, and they had a they had a card that was whenever they had no library, they win the game that they were playing. Okay, so I cannot, I cannot play Growth Spiral. First, then Risen Reef, uh, because of our blue mana situation with the castles. Yeah, Elemental Mirror. Removal, interaction. We don't got any of that. All right, missed on land for triggering Omnath. Ideally, I'll, I'll block their Risen Reef with my Risen Reef. Nope. A little surprised they don't have like one spark double to go grab so they don't have to you know sac sacrifice their omnath like that I should play Castle Garenbrig. What are you missing? You get because you have four Mox Ambers in your deck. That's why, that's how you can cast Jace because you don't just have the one Mox Amber. You, you keep bringing back the other multi. Should I play the Garenbrig? There's not much for me to be doing when we don't have any interaction. There's just really not much for me to be doing. 
It's lethal. And we're not... We're not a strong enough ramp deck. Unfortunately. We're playing standard and historic. Alright, so we'll have Ether Gust. Hmm. We play Ether Gust and Dispute. I'm going to try that. Yeah, Historic's definitely pretty wide open. Um, yeah, I get to play against a lot of different stuff. It's a fun format to play. It is. Uh, if I if I wasn't doing the stream and was just playing, you know, Magic for fun, I'd be just playing Historic over Standard. I, I enjoy the format more myself. I'm not sure what I want to do. Um, yeah, I could see Just Guy Fires being good enough. Um, I'm not sure the I'm not sure exactly what what would upgrade it. Um, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Why? Why? Auto tap why? Okay, well. Didn't cost us, but they had Omnath or Risen Reef. But yeah, anyway, I I had a lot of success with um, a couple of planeswalk very planeswalker heavy fires of invention decks. Um, if you're checking out like the YouTube channel and, and going through the playlist, we played two different. Um, one of them was Jeskai taking turns. One of them was like a, a four color planeswalkers. Uh, but Fires of Invention felt really, really powerful in both of them. Um, I guess Search for Kanta. That's something off the top of my head. Search for Kanta should just be in, in any Fires deck, basically. Like Search for Kanta with Fires of Invention is, is awesome. Um, yeah, it was it was a Jeskai deck built around taking all of the turns in the game. With Nexus of Fate and Karn's Temporal Sundering. And you just take every single turn.
All right, so yeah, they resolve Neoform, but we put the Cavalier of Thorns back into their deck, and it just gets shuffled. So it's not just going to be on top where they just draw it next turn. They're getting a 5-drop. So they're just getting another Cavalier of Thorns back. So it's basically like we counter that spell. They just get a 6-7. Hey, Paul. Yeah, this is the Gaia's Cradle deck sleeve. I guess it's more likely we hit a land by going with Cavalier first. Dang. All the lands. I would have rather, you know, milled over those spells and put the lands into play if I got to choose. But I don't get to choose. All right, so if we get Nissa, be able to gain some more mana. Oh yeah, we're gonna we're gonna finale for this Zitalpa like next turn. Next turn. Where's those lands at? Yeah. I guess I technically haven't played a land yet this turn, have I? Um. How close might a million out? I'm not putting that into play so that we have eight cards so I can discard Zatalpa. Because, you know, we can't, you can't finale and put a creature from your hand into, 
into play. It's got to be from your graveyard or the or your library. Risen Reef. I think Shard of Tribal. Oh, for Theros. I mean, I think it gets better. I think there's there's tools for it. I think. I guess I was thinking like the four man. You know, it gets a, a Wrath now, but the Wrath does deal damage to Planeswalkers, which is kind of rough. I know. I wanted to, yeah, I know. I wanted to get that finale. But we didn't get it. Mm, we need this card in our deck so bad. So jealous every time our opponents play Land War Elf, and now they're playing three drops before we have two mana. Yay. No three drop. Yuck. So if they play Risen Reef, we'll dispute it. If they don't, we'll either gust. new Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much there, Madball. Thanks for the support. Welcome to the channel. Oh, no. That's not good for me. Really not good. Oh, man. This is a lot of damage. Just too slow. We need Land War Elf. That's a very good card for my opponent to do all this stuff so fast. Blah. I mean, I have to double jump block, but I don't have any. I don't have any outs for next turn. Okay, so what we learned is Land War Elf is, is a requirement to speed up. Our, our deck is just too slow, one. And then two, you got to have interaction, as are the Lawbringer and as all Primatide. Like these cards, these cards just really don't do anything. The Spark Doubles, um, they really weren't good either. Uh, it's like we need, we need interaction. We need four, one, we need four Land War Elf. Got to have that. And then, you know, like we need stuff like Agent of Treachery, um, Mass Manipulation, even Voracious Hydra. 
Um, you know, we need we need those kind of cards for ramp. I don't think there was really anything in historic anthologies for the deck. I mean, because you're not really playing Mindstone. So yeah. But gotta have Llanowar Elf. Um, yeah, I think that's the big thing. Sideboard, you know, just getting interaction in the sideboard also. Um, you know, like this, basically this this was just kind of a, like you could tell this is just a, a standard list, not really a historic list. Um, you know, like we don't really need Return to Nature as much in historic and Love Struck Beast isn't as good. We, we need interaction. Um, but that's all right. So there we go. Uh, any value in playing Bant vs. Simic? Um, yeah, you could have, you could have like, yeah, could have like Settle the Wreckage in Bant also. They could catch people off guard. Uh, could play Time Wipe. But you're prob, it's probably better just to stay Simic. Um, the basic planes weren't, weren't any good. I would definitely get rid of those. I mean, I think you could just go like Simic with Zatalpa. Zatalpa is like a cool combo finisher with Finale. Like, basically, instead of playing Endrace Forerunners, playing Zatalpa. Um, but that's not super necessary, either. Um, probably want more Hydro Crisis. Uh, but yeah, basically, we, we need to play Cavalier and Nyssa on turn 3 as much as possible. And, like, right now, you can't you can't play Nyssa or Cavalier until turn 4 with how it is. But if you have Land or Elf, then you can play it on turn 3. And that could get you, you know, like that extra turn um, could could get you, could get the deck a lot faster. Yeah. No, you don't really need Mindstone in, in a deck like this because I think Grow Spiral, Leaf Kin Druid, those those are very similar. I mean, you could play it over Grow Spiral. Um, you could play Mindstone instead if you want. Like you could definitely do that instead. Yeah, Nexus is the only deck that plays Fogs. But uh yeah, I don't I don't really know how this deck would beat Nexus right now. I mean, I guess you just have Myst Mystical Dispute and Ether Gust. But yeah, you could have Questing Beasts to fight Fogs. Fight Fogs with Beasts, okay. Okay. Well, we'll go ahead and go on to the our next deck. So there we go. There's Bant Ramp. There's some things about it. Um uh, those of y'all watching on YouTube, you know, hit that hit that like button over there. Feel free to leave the comments. If you're playing some ramp over in Historic, uh, feel free to post your list. Let me know how it's going for you and what decks you're playing over there. Um, so, yes, yeah, send me some Historic ramp lists. But thank you so much for watching some Bant Ramp, and I'll see you for the next video.